Good Wednesday evening, YouTube modeling community. Pappy here at West Georgia Rods and Customs. Hope everyone's having a great week. Thought I'd give you a little update on uh, what's going on in my shop as far as the uh, the Hot Rod Drag Week uh, hosted by Taylor Brown, Two Talls Model Car Garage. I'm building the uh, 1970 Chevelle monogram kit. This is kind of an older kit for me and uh, thought I'd give you all an update on what's going on with it. First, and let's get turned around here. Boy, it's bright. Holy cow. Let me see if I can get that. There we go. Let me get that dim down a little bit. Let me get it out. There's where the body's at. I've uh, been doing a lot of sanding, trying to get a few things uh, just straightened out on it. Got some seam lines and stuff. Got that taken care of tonight. Got the uh, big block 572 Chevy uh, engine. Got it kind of fabbed up. Just really got it glued up with uh, Elmer's glue just to kind of get it, get to see where all my, uh, where I'm gonna have to get it set out on the frame and everything. But that's the wheels that I've uh, started to go with on this. Man, I love these. These are, uh, these are few traction uh, well wheels. Man, these things, look at the, look at the tread on them. Let me get that, Let's see, let me get it. Uh, I don't think I can get, there we go. Things got all kind of tread on it. I love these. These things are out of the uh, AMT 67 Chevelle kit. The wheels don't come with it, but the tires do. These are a different set of tires. I don't remember where I got these, but these are some Mickey, uh, Mickey Thompson Sportsman's that I had. But the tire, uh, the wheels themselves, those are a few traction, uh, well wheel, uh, come, to, uh, come from few traction. But I use the, here we are with the, uh, this is the, this is all the frame. This is the frame from the 67 Chevelle. Uh, Rob's model addiction uh, showed me that it can fit in there and I appreciate it, Rob. So I just went ahead and opened mine up, but I did have to do a few different, uh, I had to do some modifications. If you need, notice right there on the, uh, on the very sides, let me get the, uh, let me get a pointer and I'll show you what I had to, uh, what I had to add into. All this down through here, this rail right here, and this rail right down through here. This is all uh, this is all just additional styrene that I've used to uh, to make it where it'll be wide enough. The frame is actually too narrow, so I had to add that on there just to get it to uh, just where I can get it to fit. If you see what I had to do, that's not too bad. That's convincing to me that that that's part of the frame. But uh, that's about all I had to do to the add on to the frame. I did add some, uh, I call them wings back here in the back, but uh, right in here and then right in here, well, I had to add just a little bit of styrene. Then I had some stripping right down through here that uh, just it filled up the seam, kind of the same things what I did down through here. I hid that seam with some, uh, with some half round. So it looks pretty convincing to me. Looks, I, I, I was happy with it. Uh, did have to do, uh, hadn't done too much modification to the, uh, uh, to the frame, just other than w once I got the firewall glued in, right in here I did add a piece, another piece of styrene, actually some channel. I think it was channel. Yeah, I used a channel piece of uh, styrene. But uh, also, I had to take off maybe in scale inches about two inches from where this originally started in this firewall. But right in here, I, I just sanded that. Actually, I took my drum nail and I made drew me a straight line straight across. Uh, took me a straight edge and, and just measured that. I didn't really measure it, but I took about two scale inches off the top of that. That way it drops it down. That way it'll, it'll set up in the, uh, it'll set up in the, uh, and match the original firewall in here. So that's about all I did to that. And then I just smoothed down the firewall itself right in here. And uh, that way it'll, uh, that way I can just kinda, it'll, it'll be a clean engine compartment. I also cut the, uh, I cut the uh, fender wells out uh, completely on the car. There's no, there's going to be no fender wells in here. Let me, uh, let me show you what I got with the, uh, as far as the interior, I'm working with the interior. I took the interior pan, uh, out of the, uh, the kit, the Chevelle kit, the 70 Chevelle kit, 
and just cut the side panels off. I'm probably gonna take these little front uh, valance pieces off right here. I'm just gonna have probably, I'm, I'm gonna use about that much of the, uh, of the original door panel. Then I'm gonna take the door panels from the 67 Chevelle kit and kind of modify them. I'll probably use this piece right in here and graft this door panel in place of where this door goes and I'll probably make it use the, uh, as far as the rear quarter panel uh, as a template uh, to make. And I'll take the door, or uh, the door, uh, rear door panels in the back seat and put the, uh, just graft them onto there as best as I can. Then this is, a, there won't be room enough for a back seat. Somehow I'm gonna try to utilize this piece in there as well. And I also just cut out the, uh, uh, the console out of there. I'm gonna use the console as much as I can. Got the uh, chrome front and rear gr uh, bumpers and everything, the grill, got that. These are the uh, dishes, the rear dishes that comes with the uh, few traction uh, well wheels. Those will be going in there. A lot of the key parts that you see that are white right here, uh, they're either aftermarket or like these right here, that comes out of the 67 Chevelle. That's the rear that I'll, the rear end that I'll use that's been narrowed. And I'm gonna use probably, I'm gonna try to use the uh, A-arms, the upper and lower A-arms out of this kit and the, uh, and, and the steering uh, as far as the uh, Pittman arms right there, use them. And I'm, I don't know, I'm gonna try to, uh, probably just try to use the uh, stock shocks out here, just kind of do some washes on them. I found an old, uh, found an old uh, uh, nitrous oxide bottle in an old die cast kit that I had. So I'm gonna use that in there as well. And there's the, uh, there's the rest of the, uh, as far as the glass and the blower belt and things like that. I'm gonna use some aluminum pulleys on the uh, engine. Uh, and for uh, kind of dress it up a little bit and use some uh, Protec uh, lines, things like that, just dress that engine up. Let me show you what the engine looks like now that I've got it fabbed up a little bit. I'm gonna take you off camera just for a second. Now there is the uh, JPS Customs 572 Chevrolet engine that I've got it just fabbed up right now just to kind of use it for, uh, for measuring and things like that. I took the top pad off as far as the top scoop that way y'all can kind of get a good look and kind of figure out what how this thing looks. The detail on this engine is awesome. I love it. I'm gonna be ordering more from him. Uh, I had some questions the other day. Some people got onto the uh, uh, on his website. There's uh, this is who I'm getting it from as far as these engines and uh, some seats and things. He sells wheels and tires also. JPS Customs, give him a, sorry I got you on shaky cam everybody, but this is who, he does have this in his, I don't even know if it's in, somebody emailed me the other day and said, uh, I can't, I don't see the 572 in his stock. I think you have to call him, ask him if he has any in stock and you can order one or he'll make some for you. And uh, if you don't have him in stock, I know he'll be glad to make them up for you. But the detail in this thing, like I say, guys, that speaks for itself right there. That's a beautiful engine, and I can't wait to get some paint on it. Got a lot of ideas what I'm going to do with it and how, what direction I'm going to take with it. Now, as far as the direction of the paint, dang right, it's going to be peppy red with some white deck stripes. So uh, y'all be keeping your eye, eye out for this. This is one that I'm really, I'm having fun building this. But stop by, uh, stop by his website, JPS Customs. There's the website down there at the bottom. There's the telephone number. Give him a call. Take a look at what he's got in stock. Man, I tell you what, you will not be, be disappointed. That right there ought to speak enough for uh, what he sells. But anyhow, thought I'd give y'all a little update on, uh, on the uh, Hot Rod Drag Week uh, bill that Taylor's putting on. But this is where I'm at right now. Going to get a little bit more done on it tonight, and then we're going to call it a day. Hope everybody uh, has a great rest of your work week. God bless y'all. Remember, guys, if you can dream it, build it, pappy out.